Ah, Santa Rini. The blue domes, whitewashed buildings, beautiful churches, unforgettable sunsets. Talk to any avid traveler and they will say that this romantic and magical Greek island in the Aegean Sea is on their bucket list to visit. It certainly wasn't mine. Because of this, my expectations were pretty high. So let's see if it's really as picturesque as you see in the photos all over the internet and if it's worth the hype. So if you have seen the past Greece vlogs, I travelled to Mykonos, then Milos and finally made a last stop to Santorini for which we hopped on a ferry from Milos which took about one and a half hours. Finally, we are at the much awaited place Santorini. And we stayed in Ia, which is the postcard perfect small town located high on the cliffs. So Santorini is one place which is really about spending your time with your partner. So getting a good hotel is a must. So we stayed at Charisma Suites, which I booked months in advance. Yup, it's that popular. So we have two pools in this hotel. This is the smaller one and that's the bigger infinity pool right there. I'm really impressed by this hotel. Like, look at this. Also, these windmills in the background, they just complete this entire view. Such a cute pool bar area. Look at all these flowers here. And that's our room, right there. Our start didn't go as smoothly because we arrived at 10, our check-in was at 2 p.m. So we had a couple of hours to kill and we decided to take a stroll at Ia and explore the town a little bit. But soon after, we were shocked to see how busy it was. There was hardly any space to walk and I seriously thought for that moment that I should have skipped this famous touristy island. So for a little break, we grabbed a quick lunch at this pizzeria which was really good and then it was finally time to go back to our room. Our drinks are on the way. This is a nice view. So we're ready when to expect anyone at the door. And wow, the views from this place. When you see it all white and with this amazing agency view, you know you are in Santorini. Santorini. Our first time at a dream destination. Can't believe you're in Santorini. It's just been two, three hours and we're already loving this place. Yes, I can't wait to explore this place but more importantly I'm just way too excited to chill in our suite here and also sunsets in Santorini are magical and I can't wait to witness a spectacular sunset today. Good we did Mykonos at first, we partied like crazy, detoxed in Milos and now it's just our me time in Santorini. Found you. Two worlds collided I see forever in your eyes It's going to be our first sunset in Santorini but not the last because we are here tomorrow as well The sun is setting right in front of us and I'm in love with this place man Also Castle of Ia is a very popular place to watch sunset So the manager of this hotel was telling me that people actually get to the castle two hours before sunset That's crazy right? And you know what? There's a windmill right on top of our hotel here and people have started gathering there as well and still two hours before the sunset and people have got their wine and snacks kind of restricts your privacy a bit but that's okay even they have to enjoy the sunset views right so it's fine the moon. No, go. your visit to santorini will be incomplete if you don't spend at least one evening in ia as this town is the ideal spot to witness the marvelous sunset You'll watch the sky turn 50 shades of candy floss pink, lavender purple and blazing orange as the sun departs for the day. 
it was totally breathtaking. Wow, the sunset is beautiful. Very grateful to be here. I don't know how the sun is like so circular in shape, like the perfect circle. And when it goes down, it goes down in like a jiffy, you don't even realize. Till the time we're starting, pictures and everything, it's gone. It's not an over exaggeration. That Santorini has beautiful sunsets in the entire world. Witnessing myself right in front. Oh, pinch me, I still can't believe I'm in Santorini. Oh. Magical. I don't know why the sun doesn't set like this anywhere else. That's why you have to come to Santorini. Also, this specific hotel has a tradition that they open champagne and have some snacks for all the guests right there. So that guests can come together and become friends and enjoy the sunset together. Maybe because sunsets are so special now. The sun is about to set now and it's fully orangey and round in shape. Cheers guys. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I have no words to describe this. You, you have, have to, to come, come to Santorini to witness this. Alright, the dinner is served and we are all cozied up. We have burger and grilled chicken tortilla to enjoy the fresh air the breeze blowing and just the vibe of Santorini especially for like couples I think this is one place which is like super romantic me and Saranchi were just having some deep conversations tonight and I think that feel of this place you know it's so quiet you don't really have to go anywhere out there are cute cats everywhere can I pet you good night I'm scared of you and you are scared of me want to fry Oh, cheer it, cheer it. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. So the next morning was a super interesting one. It's day two in Santorini and today we woke up super early because we want to get some pictures clicked. Because during the day, all of this gets crazy. But right now it's all empty. I think this is a perfect time. If you want some good pictures with all those blue domes, you have to get up early. Ia town is so cute. It's full of restaurants. There's some cute bars and also some stores from where you can collect some souvenirs. Like this, I think this is a perfect place to do some shopping. So yeah, Santorini is an Instagram worthy place and a heaven for bloggers and influencers. Not just them, but every single person who visits here is crazy about getting pictures. Don't believe me? Look at this. Yes, there were crazy lineups at the iconic spots. And then I was being clever. I thought I would wake up around 6 a.m. and get my shots, but there were already so many people there. Still, it wasn't as bad as it gets later in the day. So, do you want to see a quick B roll of the reward of waking up at 6? Here you go. Just came to this iconic spot where there are three domes and there's actually a lineup to get a picture clicked here. And glad we came early. It's still not that bad. And also fun part, I had no clue that there were just a couple of like blue and white domes. It's not like everywhere in Santorini. And there are things like expectation versus reality, right? My expectation was that. But reality isn't quite that. But wherever it is, it's looking beautiful. Every place that you go is so beautiful. This is an Instagram worthy place. Like okay. literally, you just want to take your phone out. But I don't want to go crazy because I want to absorb this moment too. Yeah. This looks so nice, right? Everything is like aesthetically very beautiful right now. Wow. The breakfast looks good. We have ordered like literally everything on the menu. Pancakes, eggs, cereal, fruits. Fredo cappuccino is something that you get only in Greece and it's so good. I ordered a Greek scrambled egg for myself. I ordered poached eggs with croissant. Oh, I feel good now. And we're peacefully enjoying our breakfast with this amazing view. I think it's all about your hotel. So I would highly suggest do some savings and this is a place where you actually splurge on accommodation. 
So after a quick break, we are at Amudi Bay. So this is a small port where there are a lot of seafood restaurants and people also go for like sunset tours from here as well. And the highlight of this place are these red volcanic rocks. And this is right below the town of Ia, so you have to take like 300 steps to get here. Alternatively, you can always take a taxi, which is like 15 euros one side. I would highly recommend if you love seafood, then you should definitely come here. Where do we eat? There are so many options. I'm craving for some nice fish actually. Let's see if we can find something. So we chose Sunset in Amudi. Let's see how the food is here. Really excited to have fresh fish. They've just got it fresh from the sea. I'm sure it's gonna be good. Yeah. Having their local beer made those. It's nice. We just have fish, so we are very restricted in our options. But if you're open to trying octopus, squid, prawns, the list is endless. This is a place for seafood lovers for sure. Mm. Wow. It's really good. One last day, one last evening, one last sunset, one last night. Everything is last. <laughs> it's well deserved. Cheers, Peekapoo. I think after spending like two days here, I know what is the best time here. Right when the sun is setting and even after that, it literally glitters everywhere. I think this is the best part. After like 8 p.m., it looks unreal. Yeah. There's so many sunset cruises. People are having champagne, toasting to the sunset. And people even clap when the sun completely sets, which is so sweet. I think that's the only reason I love Santorini so much. This sunset is something else. I've been to a lot of places where I have like amazing ocean views and everything. But this sun right here and these hues now and all these white washed buildings are glittering and I am in love. Cheers to Santorini and cheers to our last day. Mm, I'm sad. This is our first time coming out in here at night in like two days and it's pretty lit. Well, there's no like um, party happening, everything is pretty chill, but the stores are still open so you can always shop and have romantic dinner somewhere. I think it's famous for its handcrafted items. All the shops are open till 12 at night. Yeah. It looks so pretty in the night as well, right? Very pretty. So we are just going to have our last meal of Greece, which is obviously going to be a euro. This is a local beer of Santorini, Yellow Donkey, trying for the first time. It has a different taste. I think it's pale ale. But guys, this place, Pito Hero, we reached just 10 minutes before they closed and um, Chicken Hero is all sold out. All sold out, and guys. it's still so busy, like, like at 11 in Santorini is late, right? Yeah, people are sleeping right now. Right? Not Unlike sleeping, us. Not sleeping. There's still like so many people outside, but it's all about like romantic dinners and that vibe, right? So last hero, this is supposed to be the best hero in Greece. So I'm really excited. There's literally no place to even sit. So we have to just stand in the street and have it. Wow. After trying so many in Milos and Mykonos, this was the best. Peanut dream and... Hi there. This is made of fresh bananas. So good. This is one of the best chocolate ice cream I've ever tried. There's something about it. This is too good. To be honest guys, I'm not a fan of banana ice cream. I love chocolate, but it feels like I'm having an actual banana fruit. Lolita ice cream, it is. <laughs> too good. Mm. Done. It has a completely different vibe in the night. It's all lit everywhere and it looks so beautiful. Look at the moon. And it's rays on the sea. Yeah. It's beautiful. Look how cute. Cat is sleeping. And we are at the famous Ia Castle. This is one spot where you can see amazing sunset. So if your hotel doesn't have that sunset view, this is your spot. It gets pretty crowded, but it is worth it. Here you get amazing caldera views. I think. We have not seen this special view from anywhere else, right? 
in these two days. I think this is the this best, is the best one. Yeah. Where you see the entire ear, see the blue domes, you see those orange houses, all the whitewashed buildings. I'm sure this looks spectacular even at sunrise and even at sunset because sun rises here and sunsets on the other side. So perfect spot to come. Walking in all these alleys in this Ia town is like so cute and nice. I love it. I'm still not over the place. Although this is a very small town, like you can easily explore this in like one, one and a half hours. But I don't think you can cover that this place in one hour because every place that you go, you just want to take your phone out and click pictures. Like just look at this. This is a random spot, but it's a perfect spot. Like a picture, and not just this, right opposite, even this one. Perfect spot to take pictures. It's crazy how beautiful this is. Wow, wow, the pancakes looks yeah. Wow, this is a little lavish spread of breakfast right here. The breakfast at this place has been superb. Two coffees, too. So good. with these views their pancakes are to die for wow they are very fluffy and super soft it actually melts in your mouth mm. and it's time to leave sadly our time in Greece is over but we had an amazing vacation this place is just another level like Mykonos, Milos and then this beautiful Santorini all the three islands had its own uniqueness, own spark and we had fun at each and every island and I definitely want to come back again that's it, I guess it's just time to say goodbye to Santorini now let's say goodbye together bye bye, bye, bye Santorini. Santorini we'll miss you you have my heart see you, see you, I don't know when will I see you? We'll miss yeah. the sunsets from here. All right, let's go. Bye.